Hey everybody, it's Hal Rains here, one of the co-hosts of Artful TV, and I'm gonna cover some decorating techniques today. One of the first things I'm gonna use is just an old funky, just seriously old scrubby, um, just a paintbrush. It's just a simple, you know, almost disposable uh, paintbrush that's really, it's all rusted, okay? And then from there, I'm gonna use just a simple wooden rib. Um, you can see, basically, I'm, I'm going to use the tip to, uh, to decorate around the center, and then I'm going to put another ring outside that, and then at that point I'm going to use the back side of the rib pretty much looking like this, and to use it to, to uh, do some, um, some stippling or some texturing, if you will. Also, as I go around the outside of it, and you'll see I use this particular um, hook it's just a simple tool that um, is pretty common. So when I use the base of this one, and you actually you'll see where I made the center of the flower, if you will. So um, <clears throat> that being said, let's get started. Okay, so I start off with just a little bit of underglaze and just swish it around because after all, this isn't the, what we like to do. You know, I like the red, but I like a little bit of other stuff as well. So here goes with the teal. And after you get the teal mixed in, then I'll accent some more, and then I'll bring in some orange a little bit later. Okay, I really like the way that the that the uh, teal and the red come together to form kind of this uh, fuzzy, hazy purple. You mix it with this orange, it's going to turn it kind of bronzy brown, and that's good too. But uh, eventually, I'm going to come right into some white. So there we go, and this is just porcelain that's just been turned into slip and I'm painting it down. So hang on, watch what happens. Okay, now that I've got that coat of slip down there, uh, basically I just start bouncing the rib to give it some texture. Then after bouncing with that uh, rubber rib, I use the wooden one just to give myself some lines to define the space a little more clearly. Okay, I definitely like the way everything's looking at this point. Okay, so I've done all the work, all that work so far, just to get to the point where I could start using the tools. Now, I'm taking this to where I believe it can fulfill everything I wanted it to be when I started. It's got the textures, it's got the center, and I need to reinforce that just a little more. So I'm gonna use the butt end of that tool, that uh, circle tool. Yeah, that, the body end of that circle tool is perfect, but you can see that I need to make that center more definite. So I'm going to use the wooden rib just because it holds that solid edge and it really does give me a nice clean finish. I know this looks a little odd, but it's just basically me using the back side of the rib and changing the direction of the wheel. That's all. Now you'll notice me working inside and then changing back to a clockwise rotation. So that's it. You can do this, believe me. Um, if you have any questions, you know, feel free to, to um, email yes. me. At, um, you can leave a message on my studio phone. It's 559-673-6504. You've got to leave a message because I never pick up. You know, I mean, I'll listen, but you got to leave a message so I know it's somebody I need to reach out to. Okay, and uh, that's it. See you soon.